What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Watch With Us YouTube channel. My name is Anthony Kozlowski and this is... I'm John Keel. Today we got a unique episode for you. Today we're gonna to be talking about our favorite mock Instagram accounts. Uh, some that are still up and posting and some uh, great uh, ones from the past. Yeah. It's uh, gonna be a shorter video, but uh, if you haven't heard of some of these accounts, They're or maybe, maybe, maybe you have some that we haven't heard of, so uh, leave a comment down below if we haven't listed uh, one of your favorites. But uh, yeah, uh, actually, we need to do a wristwatch check before we even get into the video. Yeah, what, do you got? what are you wearing there? I am wearing my uh, my vintage Navitimer 806. Uh, love this watch, and actually dropping soon is the new uh, Breitling uh, re-edition of the... Of oh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No kidding. Yeah, the, uh, it, what are they called? The, I think it's the 1962 or 1959. What year is that from? This is... Early 60s. Yeah, so I, I love this piece. One of my favorite pieces, uh, this one has the beads of rice bezel, which is a little bit more uh, unique. They, yeah. they only did that for a few years. This isn't a Valju 72 movement. Those are, they go for ten to $15,000, but I got this one for 3,000, not cheap, but for what it, I love, what it is, I just it's aesthetically great. love that watch, absolutely. You know what, it. in my opinion, and I did a video on this as well, but it's one of the most iconic chronographs you can get. Yeah, I would say sure. Speedmaster, Daytona, and the Navitime are probably yeah. the top three from three big brands yeah. making unique watch. And of uh, course, Hoyer has some, some you know, right, some right, iconic the Monaco, too, but, yeah. But that's, 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 that's fantastic. I just. Aesthetically, absolutely love that watch. And I think for a vintage watch of this importance, undervalued. Oh yeah. The oh. fact that you can get them on their 5,000 in good shape, I think uh, it's a no-brainer if you want to kind of uh, venture into vintage pieces, I think. So, yeah. yeah. What, are, what are you rocking? Um, I'm wearing my Louis, my Louis Monet. This is... Uh, Might as well be almost a piece unique at this point. There's so few made. Yeah, 20 of them made. 20 made. They were given as gifts and uh, never hit the public market. No, no, and, just uh, uh, for a few individuals and that's really it. Yeah, no, this is, this is my, my grail that I own. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I never and get designed. To, I never get to wear it, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. So I never get to wear it. And uh, so I figured you were coming out to uh, shoot this video and yeah. heck, I'll throw it on because you're always wearing something pretty outrageous. Uh, uh, not, not, yeah. not, not really. I've been wearing the Daytona a lot lately, yeah. but. Uh, yeah, I thought uh, I thought I'd give this some love. Honestly, I don't really wear my vintage pieces too much. I'm always scared to to kind of run the chronograph and have them yeah. break. This one's a bit finicky. I'm not gonna lie. All so, right, cool, but. cool. So we were talking. Uh, you know, naturally we have to sit and say, hey, what do you want to do it about? Right, what do you right. want the video to be about? What, what topics can we cover? And um, I'm I'm not. I'm not one of these guys who actually, believe it or not, I don't watch any YouTube. Right. I watch very, very, very little YouTube, and I never, ever thumb through Instagram. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very rarely. I mean, it's 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 bizarre when I do. Uh, however, Anthony, you kind of like are an Instagram. Like you're you're that I'm generation. I'm an Instagram whore. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. on it. I'm on it way too much. I'll be you know I can't sleep, so I'll be in bed just going through it. Yeah. And uh, we started talking about some of our, our favorite uh, accounts that have to do with watches. Well, I said I said you know I rarely look at Instagram mm -hmm. and, and go through all the pictures and stuff like that. But when I do, I find that these watch <laughs> watch related mock accounts right. are some of the funniest things on the planet. Right. If you're into watches, you'll get 95% of the jokes they're doing and I love it because for the most part most of them are taking a very uh what can be a serious approach. Right. To a, a very strict and serious hobby and they make light of the situation, which yeah. is what I love. And they make fun of people and, and I have to be honest, I have a six sense of humor. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy you know Right, right. You know, I'm, anything anything that offends a lot of people, I, I typically find a lot of humor in which, Sure, sure. You know, I hope that doesn't offend you, but that's just that's just my personal humor. And, and hopefully, you know, <laughs> if we get large enough in the future, maybe we'll end up on one of these uh, accounts getting yeah, and we fun get, of, get ripped apart, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. So so with that we started talking about the topic of mock watch accounts and we started talking we talked about the originals like mm -hmm. the first ones that really kind of came right. out as mock accounts and mm -hmm. and I think I had mentioned that the Rolex Enforcer the Rolex Enforcer and I think even before him he was definitely an OG of like kind of calling out people yeah but uh, what was it the uh, fake watch buster fake watch right. buster was probably one of the biggest uh, to the point where I even remember hearing a rap song where they mentioned him in it. So, I mean, pretty big. And he was really, he got famous because he was really calling out famous people, well, that, and rich people on fake watches. Right, I mean, and he always called out, I mean, I felt like he always focused on on like uh, sports stars and rappers. <laughs> a lot of rappers, a, lot a ton of, of rappers. Because they were wearing these big diamond encrusted fake watches that, uh, but he would call them out publicly. So that one, oh, that was less up. of a lighthearted one. That was kind of like vicious. He was vicious but you know what I, what I liked about him is he was only going after people that can 
afford these, you know, right. these real expensive watches. A lot of these other accounts, they've tried to make a name for themselves, but they're like attacking like the the 16 year old is in high school and <laughs> doesn't even realize he's wearing a fake Rolex. Right. But he was going after these rappers that were driving around in these cars that were turned like out. Like McLaren. To be, right, but they were rented. <laughs> and then they would put all these fake diamonds on an AP so much so that you wouldn't be able to tell that the hand is ticking. Or they're, or they're <laughs> wearing a, a, a knockoff Richard Mill. Right, whatever. Right. Yeah, so the fake watch bust and Rolex Enforcer, they were kind of doing it at the same time. I think I think Rolex Enforcer came a little later, if I'm not mistaken, but but both those guys really did it. But the the last time they, I think, I don't know about the Rolex, Rolex Enforcer, is, he's still around. He, yeah, and he, he actually... He's the guy who is calling out random like 16 years old. Yeah. Which, I mean, that's r brutal, right? Brutal, like, but funny. You, know, but you, funny. Get, you get some, 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 you know, 20 year old with like, you know, 38 followers who right. takes a picture of his fake uh, two tone day chest. Exactly. And he's ripping them apart. And I, I, again, I do kind of find it a little bit funny. Um, but the the fake watch buster, he actually hasn't posted since 2017. Yeah, so. so which is too bad. I'm hoping he makes a comeback, but. Uh, Maybe, Actually, maybe 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 one of the guys he called out murdered him. Yeah, I, I wouldn't <laughs> doubt it. He's he's gone hard on people. But you know what's funny is actually, I mean, not that I have a, a big Instagram following, I don't. But I think most people know that I don't mess with fake watches. But no, I've had I don't numerous, think any of us do. I've had numerous people tag him in the past on my post accusing me of fake watches and the Rolex Enforcer. And I've even had in the past the Rolex Enforcer so like, dude, what are you talking about? This guy's legit. He has real watches, works in the industry. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's so see, funny. See, I'm, my, my Instagram following is so small that I never even got called uh, out. I, I've gotten <laughs> called out a few times. It's so <laughs> funny. I was like, dude, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, right? That's, that's hysterical. <laughs> one that I also liked too, who was one of the OG kind of guys who was, uh, and I just thought it was, I don't I don't know why I found it funny. He didn't call people out and stuff. Was that guy, Watch Amish. Right, so like right, he kind of right. he kind of was poking fun at watching ish. Yeah, right. So Super watch, easy to watching ish well. is like one of the biggest uh, you, uh, Instagrammers in top 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 two top one point one point seven million yeah, followers something like right. that. So so watch Amish was taking <laughs> was taking pictures of like you know. Uh, Ublo Big Bang, like in front of Amish people, right. like, and like, or or in Amish country and Amish right. scenes, and like making it look like he would he would photo and pose like a Watch Time magazine in the hands of an Amish right, person, right, right. and I, I just thought that was hysterical. That you was know, it, it's just a unique spin. I mean, he doesn't have too many followers, but de I mean, it's worth a follow. It, it, he doesn't post as much, but he does, it's yeah, he hasn't funny. posted a ton lately. And uh, so those guys were kind of like more the OG tour sort of guys. Yeah. Um, but recently, there's some kind of newer ones that have come about. Yeah, ones, or at least they're newer ones. to me. Uh, who do we have? We have a, a list here. So wrist, wrist Buster is, uh, he's probably taken over for like fake, fake watch buster. He right. has over 200,000 uh, uh, followers and he's really calling out a lot of people. Everything famous people or? Pretty, uh, a lot, a lot of, I wouldn't say famous people, a lot of, a lot of like your Instagram influencers and models that are right. really like, you know, fronting having a lot of money, or Let's, you know, they might have a real, a real nice car, but they figure they can save a few bucks by getting a fake, a fake AP or or a Patek or so something it's, yeah, like so that. So it's wrist busters. Right. Let's take a we'll take a look at a couple yeah. of his. Uh, and uh, he, what's funny is he also will do in his stories like when he calls out someone and then they start DMing him and they go back and forth. And oh, he'll yeah, so he'll take screenshots of an argument that he's having with right, somebody, right, right, which is kind of funny. But I, I, I do think like, in my opinion, it gets a bit old. Um, I do I, agree. I, I, I don't mind following it every now and then. Like, how many people are you gonna just like call out? It kind of gets old. Where I, I do find some of the accounts we're gonna talk about are like, people that are actually being creative and editing certain videos or, or you know, content they see. Uh, like we were just saying, our favorite is uh, Hudanki. Yeah, let's we'll get in that one last because yeah, that one is by far my favorite. By far the best, but I do yeah. think like this one's worth a follow because he he does have a lot of uh, followers. He has a lot of content, but you know, there's only so many people you can you can really call out before it gets old. Yeah, um, I agree. And shame on wrist. I, I he's another one. He's he's definitely my second favorite next to Hudanki. Easily, he's uh, he's he's making unique uh, unique posts and he ripped. Where he doesn't call out people, he's ripping a lot on brands. So he's ripping a lot on brands. He's also ripping a lot on other influencers. Right. Um, you know, they tend to. He, you know, here's here's a guy who's an influencer here, and he's sitting in front of his McLaren, 
and uh, that's and, the Sienna. That's a uh, oh yeah, I know that. I know that YouTuber. That's a it's a crazy McLaren. It's like over a million dollars. Right, and he's you know standing in front of uh, McDonald's or something, right? right. right? Like, uh, but then he's got some great memes that he makes up too. His memes are good, you know. So They're very uh, good. Any any particular loves to rip on Hublot, which I think a lot of these guys do. Oh, honestly, a lot of people do. Like yeah. the other account we have on here is Dog Poopy Watch. <laughs> where now, this one I just learned about you know today yeah. when we were talking about this. I'm sure it's going to get old for me, but right. it's, it is hysterical. It's funny because it's like how many times you do a wrist shot, how many times you walk in your dog, do put two and two together. When your dro dog is dropping a deuce, you take a photo. So, and in every one of his, every one of his photos, he he tags the watch, the dog, and then he tags the poop, hubo. <laughs> So he's not, obviously not a fan, no. but the poop in every photo oh, is tagged. That's, that's awful. Yeah. That's awful. So Hublot is, is definitely the target of most of these guys. Yeah, I, it's it's an easy target. I think there are newer brands. Uh, you know, a lot of people say they're an AP wannabe, but uh, you know, a lot of a lot of these brands like to rip on it. And the new thing I think they're ripping on is Omega as well because oh, they feel the like limited a, edition every right. thirty seconds. Right? Every that's, every thirty seconds is a new Speedmaster, Man on the Moon, Man on Mars, whatever it may be. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, man on man on asteroid. Yeah, 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 it's it's ridiculous. That's that's funny, and it you know, with these guys, I just I think the creativity is a lot of fun. I think it's 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 cool to just see guys doing stuff that right. are different, paying attention to the watch industry. But let's let's talk about who I think at the moment is the king. It's it's definitely Hodonki. Hodonki is by far. <laughs> we were literally just watching some of his clips before In we tears. started and just crying. Yeah, it was, laughing so hard. It's just so funny, and I would say. Uh, who he gets on, obviously, is Houdinki. Yeah, so so Houdinki is obviously one of the biggest influencers in the industry, if not the, I would Probably say. Probably the say biggest. The, right, and, um, you know, they've got a host of... of Contributors or celebrities or whatever they are. I mean, I consider them some celebrities right. at some point. Right, and bit. you know they're extremely knowledgeable on horology and timepieces, but they yeah. just take themselves so seriously. I agree. So he just goes the polar opposite. He just takes every clip they do and edits it in a in a certain way, in a funny it, way. and it makes a joke of it. One of my favorite things is uh, um, one of the contributors on Houdinki is I think his name is Steven, but he looks just like Napoleon Dynamite's uh, brother in the movie. Yeah. So he uses a lot of clips for that whenever he's hosting a video, and yeah. for me, I just I cry. Hey, you guys want to see my video? It is, it is actually contagious, and you don't have to accompany this sort of rich bitch lifestyle. Exactly. I clean up dog poop where I've had it. You can take something from a high style sort of culture and adopt it into your own culture. I think also when you think about what watches were when they came out in the last century. I mean, these so what do you think? Like, <laughs> that's right. pretty cool, I guess. Like, that's, that's right. If you treat watches that way, then no, they were the iPhone 5 of their day. It has a chronicle. This is pretty much the worst iPhone. video ever made. Yeah. It's like a spitting image, and it's just it, he's just very clever, and he's not just calling out individual people. He's taking the top of the watch industry and just ripping on them in a funny way. See, and then I asked you when we were talking about doing this. I said, I said, what do you think the chances are right. that it's actually Hodinky created account? It's like it know. would it would be so genius because it it has it's grown quite a bit. I'd say yeah. he's. I don't know, maybe a year old, probably under. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I've only, I've only seen him. almost 10,000. Yeah, I've only seen him for, you know, again, I don't go, I'm not a huge Instagram, right, but, right. but, you know. He, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's it's definitely my one of my favorite accounts, yeah. So he yeah. has uh, 8,300 8, change as we record <laughs> this. Um, but some of the stuff I mean, <laughs> John, John Mayer, Mayer one. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's hysterical. It's, uh, it's, in my opinion, it's it's the the go-to kind of uh, uh, funny Instagram account for watches. If you guys haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Uh, <laughs> he loves ripping on Ben Clymer, which he does. I mean, he does it in a clever way. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Other than dropping a comment down below on some accounts are missing, go to this account and leave a comment. What's your favorite post he's done? Because Absolutely, because some of these are pretty good. Yeah, and, and he, you know, he does venture off and bust on some brands in some spots, mm -hmm. and um, hysterical, absolutely hysterical. So, so that's you can't you can't take it 
too hard. I mean, you know, there's every once in a while a whole rip on a brand that I personally love. Of course, but you just gotta laugh it off. But that's I the mean, thing. That's as as I said early on in this video, I've got that sense of humor mm -hmm. where like I always tell people, if I'm not breaking your chops, it means I don't like you. Right. right. So like to me, you know, the way that especially guys always show their affection in my the way right. you know, I've grown up showing affection yeah. to other guys is by teasing you, making right, fun. Right, right. So so I think this stuff is great. There's plenty of uh, really nice uh, watch accounts for cool wrist shots, but there's really not that many that are making uh, light of the situation and making you know fun content. These are some yeah. of our favorites. Leave a uh, comment down below or some of your favorites. What's your favorite post on Hudanki? Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And and plus, please definitely if you have some, if there are some other funny accounts like this that are watch related, please, because there's a billion that aren't. But the ones that are watch related, let us know who they are because you know, again, it may it may make me actually look at Instagram a bit more. Yeah. There's stuff to laugh at about the industry. Maybe create so. your own. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Create your yeah. Come up with your own idea of right. how to rip on the industry. So yeah. uh, maybe start with us. Why not? <laughs> yeah, well, please don't. <laughs> yeah, no, it's but good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you so are inclined to believe that you would like this channel. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. There's a little bell over there too. If you hit that bell, it will alert you every time that we have a new video pop up. Uh, we've got the Instagram rocking. We're going to be doing a, another giveaway in the next. Very soon. In, very soon, we'll be doing in the next month, maybe two months. I, I would actually believe. Uh, I don't even, we didn't even talk about this, but I believe that I may have a giveaway announcement possibly before this video drops. Okay, So awesome. we will be doing another video uh, on the giveaways. FYI, for the giveaway, at the moment, the only way that you can enter to be in our giveaways is to, is to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. If you subscribe and if you follow, you're automatically entered, so it's not like you have to go and do anything extra. Right. So it's when, two buttons, <laughs> right? That, that's it, and you can win. All, last giveaway, we gave away a, a few different watches. Yeah, a couple of watches. I know I, I have at least one watch, if not two, for this giveaway, oh, awesome. as well as some other watch-related swag uh, that I would argue are better than the original cool. wall clock. That we <laughs> believe it or not, the guy who won the wall clock never claimed it. Really? Yeah, that's why I might, ha I might have to hang it on the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can get a wall of shame. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, crap, we're trying to give away the right, 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 right. <laughs> So, all right, thank you guys so much. We do appreciate it. Uh, super fun short video. Yeah. And we'll talk to you guys really soon.